Hello there you beautiful people and welcome back to my gaming series and today I'm talking about the motherfucking PS5 and that's right you beautiful people now I'm trying to pose a question of whether the Wiz Dish Rover that's right you beautiful people now this little beautiful thing right here if it will be compatible with the PS5 through obviously the power of the Cronus Max Plus now I believe that it would and I even believe it should to be quite honest with you I think the you know, VR really benefits from a, uh, a version of locomotion. The feeling of walking with your own feet really sums up the experience so goddamn well. More than any other, like, control method I have tested could. Now, I've tried all kinds of things, you know, using, like, um, well, not Apple AirPods, but Bluetooth headphones, using them and using them to walk in games. There's a way of doing it, you know, you just got to change the controls and stuff. And, you know, every other form of locomotion I've tried, be it controller, a, what was it? a Wii Fit board even, you know, the only thing that has ever come close to replicating what it's like to actually walk in the real world is the Wiz Dish Rover. And honestly, I think the, the PS5 should go this route, if not by making the Rover as standard as, well, maybe not a standard, but as an additional control method for the PlayStation 5, I think it should actually do it. And obviously, you know, we've seen, um, we've seen like, you know, not mock-ups like this of the PS5, which has turned out to be true. This is actually what the PS5 dev kit looks like. And you know, not all fucking dev kits actually turn out to be what the console looks like. But if it does, then you know, the V shape does kind of roll with the 5 motif. I don't know. You know, here's some more fucking 3D models of it. I don't really care, you know, what it looks like. I more care that it's good to game on. And as you can see here, you know, I think that it's actually going to be... I think it's going to be a relatively good console. You know, I think as long as it sticks to what, you know, what's come before, it sticks with the PSVR, which Sony's already said they're going to do, they're going to do a PSVR 2, but they will be compatible with the PSVR 1. And with that being the case, you know, Chronos Max is going to jump on that, just like they have done every other PlayStation bloody um, life cycle. And I reckon that, you know, you know even the Chronos Max Plus or the Titan 2, or even the Titan 1, um, could do it. I think it could translate the Rover signal into gameplay locomotion. And if that be the case... I think you should definitely do it. And obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll pick up a PS5 and I'll play the bastard. And you know, if Chronos Max jumps on it and does it, I'll do a video of it. You know, no problems whatsoever. But I honestly think that the PS5 should be compatible. The The feeling of moving your own feet is, honestly, it is awe-inspiring. Inspiring. It is brilliant. Like, there is no way I can possibly, you know, convey to you the excellence of actually moving your own feet. I really can't. And there is going to be a review of the Wizard Rover coming up soon. But until then, I'm just going to tide it over with um, this video, obviously, and the review, and what I'm thinking of saying what's come before and what's coming next, which will be a preview of, you know, what's to come, what games are planning on hitting. I'll give you a little inkling. I'm, I'm hoping to try uh, well, Arizona Sunshine. That depends, obviously, on funds. And I'm hoping to maybe try The Persistence and Here They Lie. Now, I'm not sure if those are going to be the games. If they are, then at least you've kind of got an inkling of what I'm doing. If not, you know, there'll be other games. You know, any game that is compatible with the DualShock 4 controller is now compatible with the Wiz Dish Rover and the PSVR through the power of the Chronos Max Plus. Now, you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You're going to jump on this one. You you go to the site, you order your Wiz Dish Rover, you download the free software, you buy yourself the Chronos Max Plus, you follow the instructions of what I showed you, and, you know, you'll be jumping on in there and you'll be walking in VR with your own feet. You know, don't 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 tell them I, I told you. Well, you know, you can't tell them I told you. It's all it's all good to me. But um, you know, like I said, I think it's brilliant. I think it's honestly a fantastic control method. And if if Sony doesn't jump on this for the PlayStation Five, I really don't know why. I mean, the Rover itself is fantastic. It is, you know, it, its construction can maybe do with a bit more. You know, maybe a bit more stable. But you know, the pros and cons I would say would be like I said before, it is noisy. You know, if people are in the room, they're going to tell you it's noisy. It's not really a big deal when you've got headphones on. If I'm honest, you can't hear the fucker, which is completely fine. Even the PSVR's own headphones, the normal ones it comes with, doors out the sound, so it isn't really that big of a deal. It's just for other people, really. But, um, yeah, you know, I would definitely say you need to get a Rover and, you know, Cross Max Plus, and you need to jump on this. You need to jump on it as quick as you did with the PSVR when that first came out, because it is honestly... You know, I can't even, I said before, I can't even go on the PSVR now or the PS4 without using the Rover. It's all one setup now. I have built my entire gaming setup around the Wizdish Rover. And I am, I am honestly flabbergasted at its prospects. 
I mean, as you can see, really close match plus, they've got a steering wheel that works. You know, so you could technically, if you really wanted to, walk around, like, say, GTA 5 or something like that, and then jump into a car using the fucking steering wheel. I mean, that is some next level shit. I mean, I've got a VR backpack now, you know, the, the, the cheap as out, you, honestly, just an old Aura Interactor or any of those that you can see on Amazon for like 10, 20, maybe 30 quid. You know, get yourself into it. it VR is exploding at the moment, you really got to jump in there. But yeah, my 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 recommendations for the PS5 is to allow the Wizardish Rover as a, a locomotion method. And if not, for Close Max Plus to jump on it and make sure it does. But yeah, friends, we've got time for the people people know. Once again, I've been me and you've been you, and thank you so much for joining me on my gaming series. Please join me next time for something else. <laughs> bye bye for now.